I am Kristen and welcome or welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be doing a speed build this time in Frosted Heights and we're going to be creating an ice skating rate but before we get into it make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. So I've managed to unlock a few things from the star path already I mean I'm not 100% done with it just yet but I've got the important stuff which speaking of how many of you have unlocked everything in the star path or are you still grinding it out? Let me know down in the comments. This update has truly been so fun and I've been enjoying all the new items and the new recipes and just exploring the toy, toy story realm itself brought back memories from when I was a kid. I just love this film so much and if y'all haven't seen it I highly recommend watching it because it will tug at your heartstrings. Okay, so back to the build. I don't think I have seen anyone creating an ice skating rink in the game, so I wanted to try and have a go at it. And I think it turned out lovely, and we even have a hot cocoa area, so afterwards when people are done skating, they can come and grab a hot beverage to get warm and cozy. I have so many other ideas with these items and decorating in this game. It's just so fun, but also frustrating with the limit on items and such. I actually had to tear down some of my forgot land build down because flowers were not respawning in that biome but I did uh, I did get to keep some of it though and fix that issue because more flowers are popping up again but it's just so disheartening to see that number literally glaring at you and be like you need to chill with the decorating and I'm just like uh you can't stop me because I love decorating in this game but other than that the this has truly been the best update. Uh, let me know what has been your favorite in this update and have any of you gotten Stitch yet? Or let me know your frustration with this update too because I know we all have issues with this game sometimes but at least the, the devs are working towards fixing the issues. Well I hope with the, the limit items they can come with or come up with some compromise because I'm just so scared of actually reaching the limit and I'm not going to be able to decorate anymore or I'm just going to have to build one area and then tear down another area and I just don't want to do that because not to keep bringing Animal Crossing up but to come from Animal Crossing and not have to have an item limit is just it's just so sad. <laughs> Because we all love to decorate and we all love clutter and we just want to decorate to or we just want to decorate from head to toe in our valley and I mean I don't see a harm in that but I can also see like lag issues with that but I think many of us would suffer lag issues if it meant we could just decorate to our hearts to side. <laughs> so I'm just hoping like maybe they can come up with a compromise I mean we'll see only a time to tell I mean they added the uh toggle or you can play in day and night without having to time travel so maybe they'll listen to us about the the limit thing which speaking of that feature is so wonderful like I always play during the night because I'm a night owl um, sometimes I get to play during the day, but usually it's at night, so I could just toggle my game and be able to play at daytime in the night without like having to time travel and break my game. And I like that they added that. That was a great, great feature. Or feature. But anyway, we're at the time for me to stop talking and for y'all to just watch me decorate, so... Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!